head over to portal.checkpoint.com and click register here. Fill in your company and personal details. If necessary, we have date of regency options. Otherwise, select our terms and conditions and click next. An email will be sent to your inbox to validate your email address. Simply click activate your account to start the activation process. Create a password and click activate to start your trial. You now have an account on the Checkpoint Infinity Portal. Click the menu button in the top left hand corner. Here you can see a wide range of security products that Checkpoint provide. Click Sandblast Agent, accept the terms and conditions and try now to activate your trial. Confirm your service identifier and click Create to start the build of your security management server. Once built, you will be able to confirm the status of this online management station. In the top left hand corner, select Overview. This is where we gather information on any deployed agents. Right now we have none. There are two things we need to do to set this up. Firstly, it is important that we have the ability to uninstall our software. This is protected by a password. To define that password, on the left hand side, click Policy, select Global Policy Settings, and select Set Agent Uninstall Password. Create a secure password and store this for later use. Once completed, we can now download our custom installation file. Go back to Overview and click Download Agent. There are many options here, but for now, just select the quick installation option. This 250 kilobit file allows us to have a quick and easy installation process. Copy onto your target machine and run. In the bottom right hand corner in your taskbar, you will see a padlock. Select connect to server to confirm the status of this installation. At the moment, this is yet to synchronize with the management infrastructure. If we quickly go back to the management portal, we can see that this has installed and it has quickly activated. If we go back to our target machine, after a moment, the installation will have connected home to the online management server. We can check the status and now see that it is connected. This will now start to download the default security package defined in the policy. Once downloaded, we can click install to start the installation process of the default policy. We can use the display overview settings to confirm the status of the installation. If you wish, you can start the endpoint scan immediately. If not, wait a moment and it will start on its predefined schedule. We now have a working endpoint security solution. By default, we only install a small amount of our security features, but it is possible to go back to the management infrastructure, select policy and review any additional software features you wish to install. If you are trialing the MDR service, select analysis and remediation and enable threat hunting. Click save and install policy. The next time the endpoint device connects to the management server, it will receive this new policy, informing it to start collecting more detailed logging information. In the bottom left hand corner, go to global settings, click API keys. We're going to create API keys to establish a connection between your Sandblast agent installation and the MDR service. Select the threat hunting service, Select an expiration date, usually synchronized with the end of your service term. This will create a client ID and a secret key. Copy these to a text file. These will be used by the MDR service to identify the logging information we are analyzing. Lastly, click Server Management and make a note of your account name and your service identifier. These details will now need to be emailed over to your MDR service provider.